Yeah, so um, my name is Michael, Michael McEwen. Um, I suppose um, I'm a disability campaigner, advocate, call it what you will. Um, but my, my job is a freelance journalist. Um, so I suppose it goes hand in hand, some of the stories that I cover and all, all that. And uh, yeah, I'm a big football fan. I love Scottish football and I love, um, you know, promoting the game and, I suppose that's why I'm speaking to you and um, to talk about disability facilities. Yeah, well, I mean, as you say, I just got like people would go along to um, games, whether it's on Saturday or, or Wednesday night, but for people with disabilities, maybe that's twice as more challenging, you would say, and in terms of, like, um, if they've got, like, a, a PA, kind of like a personal assistant um, to help them to go to the game. So it's like when you go to the game, it's like when you leave your house, you know, to, to get into a car, to, you know, get an accessible bus and, and all the rest of it and, and getting to the game and getting to a parking space where um kind of like accessible in terms of like um if people's in wheelchairs if they've got a zimmer or what have you they would then have to look um they would have to park at the right space so that the cub can be at the same level as a person getting out the car or getting out the bus or, or whatever um and 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 maybe Maybe like getting into the ski game as well, kind of like getting into the turnstiles and um, you you know what have you in terms of like um, uh, going to the toilet if you make an accessible toilet and and all that. So it's wee things, Alaska, that that people really don't. Um, I'm not saying they they don't take into consideration, but they don't. Yeah, I suppose like they, they don't think about these kind of uh, obstacles you would say, and then when you come back from the game, if the game was like on a Wednesday night, say, um, at maybe the, the game finishes about what quarter twenty five to ten, uh, VR maybe um, add on two hours, so, <laughs> so that the game would finish at midnight. So you've got to then think about like oh. So how the hell am I getting back? Uh, is the is that bus go on? Is that accessible taxi still available as well? So it's all, all these kind of like different things as well, and that's just before you get to the game. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, you know, you know. Football's a, a brilliant game, as they say, it's a beautiful game um, uh, as well. Sometimes it's not so beautiful, depends on the weather forecast outside, I suppose. But, like, yeah, so, like, um, you know, you've got different <clears throat> areas of disability, whether that could be physical, um, whether that could be learning disabilities, whether that could be people on the autistic spectrum, whether that could be people are visually impaired and, and blind as well. So football has got um, all these kind of aspects, you would say, to um, to kind of make it into, as I say, the beautiful game for everyone um, uh, as well. And like um, in terms of getting into the ski game, getting a, if, if there's two stairs, will actually be a big ask for for people with the like, amability issue or whatever, they might have to have, um, you know, a handrail on the, the staircase so that people can get up. Uh, and then when you get up, you've got to go down. <laughs> so um, you, you've got to go up to, to to basically the stand and then you've got to go down for, um, to your seats. And some of the ski games that I've been to... Um, that when you actually step down, the, the staircases are kind of wider than um, some other 
But I, I mean, I can give you some examples. I, I don't want to name and not not shame the club, but you, you know what I mean. So, some of the um, scare cases are kind of like uneven um, as well. So it's just like, things like that, like um, clubs would need to uh, take into consideration and, and make it a better uh, kind of like fan um, experience to go to the games because the last thing you want to do is oh no I can't go to the game tomorrow night because the access is bad or you know you know they they haven't got any kind of um, accessible seating 